Hello there, people in it. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaglyn. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Today, we're going to be doing my cash stuffing for the first bi-weekly check of November. So, I just went to the bank today and I pulled out my money. I totally realized it was the first, so there were a lot of people at the bank. So, um, But I have a little bit of a change in the scenery. I've added some stuff to my budgeting team, I guess you could say. We have a candle today because, I don't know, I thought that it would be good for the... Like, it's a big flame, so yeah. But let me... I'm going to first do my change. I did end up getting some change jars because i want to start collecting my coins i did have these at my mom's house and i just brought them here and then probably whenever either whenever they get full or at the end of the year i'm going to take them to the little coin star exchange them because you can get if you go to the coin star like food line or something you can get um cash for them which is pretty cool either cash or gift cards but i'm probably going to get a gift card because you can get it free there's no fee if you get a gift card. Anyway, let's do the silvers, which I have a, I had a lot of quarters, which is actually kind of nice. And pennies and a dime. Okay. And the lid for the pennies. I'm just going to set these aside because it's too hard to put them back where they were. Um, now we're going to go to my wallet and I'm actually going to pull out my receipts to scan them on Fetch. I totally forgot to mention in my last video about Fetch. So Fetch is a online, Fetch is an app you can use to scan the receipts of things you already buy in order to get points for like Amazon, Walmart, Target gift cards. And if you use my code, which I'll put on the screen, you will get 2,000 points and I'll get 2,000 points. So it's a win-win if you guys want to check it out. This is not sponsored by Fetch whatsoever, but I really do like the app. And I literally, all my friends and family, I recommend the app too. So I want to recommend it to you guys as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get out my receipts, which I'm just going to set aside. And I'll do that probably after the video. I have a lot, as you can see, that I need to scan. And now I'm going to take out my envelopes and my cash and we can start with this stuffing. Put that to the side. So I actually got these off Amazon. I did not have these in my first cash stuffing video, but these are for basically my variable expenses. So we have a personal, which is for like anything miscellaneous, like things I need for my apartment, things I need like beauty stuff. It just all goes in my personal budget that I have every two weeks grocery or this is shopping so like clothes or anything that i want to buy those two weeks goes in here grocery and like food like eating out and stuff so we're gonna stuff these and then i have my um these are kind of like my sinking funds basically so yeah um right today we're budgeting 250 dollars. so let me set this to the side and we will get out the cash i'm just gonna put that right here and I actually used my, I made a homemade, I don't want this to get on fire. Um, I made a homemade teller slip, which was so helpful for the teller. She was very grateful that I did it. And it was just easier to figure out what denominations I needed before I went to the bank instead of trying to do it on the spot. But we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 180. And these are going to be in, like, different orders, but, you know, it's fine. Um, make sure everything, okay, I just want to make sure everything's in the frame. Okay, then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have five tens, and then five, 10, 15, and then, excuse me, stop. Then we have... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now let's get on into the, actually I'm gonna go over this with you guys. So this is my, I actually made my own budgeting thing in Canva because the ones I was using last time, it just wasn't customizable to me. So I just went ahead and made one on Canva. I was gonna order one off of um, Etsy, but I was just like, realistically, I could just make this myself and save me a couple of dollars, you know? So these are the, the first I wanna go over with you guys is Bank. 
So these are all the things that are staying in my bank account and they're coming from my refund from school. I don't really feel comfortable sharing how much I get in refunds, but I'm just gonna put how much I'm setting aside. So for my house that I'm getting, or like my house savings, I'm gonna transfer 250. My Roth IRA, I'm, my goal for the November is to put in $300 in my Roth IRA. So we're starting off with 100 right now. I will probably go up in the next budgeting video. And then subscriptions is always $34. That is for my Amazon, my Spotify, and my Kindle Unlimited. I am very proud of myself because last month I canceled my Planet Fitness membership because I was not using it whatsoever. And it was just easier for me to just cancel it instead of paying 10 months for a gym membership I'm not using. So I was very proud of myself on that. And then my credit card on average is about $75 a month. So I don't really feel like taking that out in cash just to put it back in the bank. So... Anyway, now let's go on to, actually let's do my um, wallet first. So these are my wallet um, envelopes. But we're actually going to empty these because I did have some money left over, which I'm very proud of myself on that. So we have a dollar left in food. Um, nothing in grocery. Let's see. Uh, we have... Three dollars left in shop, so I'm actually very proud on that. And then there's, oh, we got some more in personal, and we got three dollars in personal. Okay, I'm like so proud of myself right now that I have what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars left. Okay, um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and put these in my saving challenges that I added. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you saw when I made these. We're gonna have to move the candle because we don't have enough room for that. Um. So I have my $1 savings challenge, $1 savings challenge, and my 1, 5, 10, 20 savings challenge. So we're probably just going to try to split this up in half to fix this. So since we have 7, I think we're going to do a 5 and the rest in the $1. So 1, 2, 4, 5 will go in the 1, 5, 10, 20, and then 2 will go in the $1. So let's do this one first. Totally forgot to get out my sharpies before this video, so my apologies. Um, let's do five. And these were actually so easy to make. I was actually very surprised because I just wanted to make them myself, so I did it. Um, but yeah, so let's do that and put in five dollars. I think what I'm gonna do with the savings challenges is I'm not gonna count them till probably like the end of the year or whenever I wanna take the money out. Um, so yeah, I might just do it at the end of the year. And then now let's do the one dollar challenge and we have two dollars on here. And I did not put the totals on these challenges because I just wanted to be surprised in when I counted up, of course. So, um, alright. I'm so proud of myself on that. Like, my first time doing cash stuffing and I had some money left over. Very proud. Okay, so now let's go back to my wallet because I just wanted to empty it out real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and do my wallet. So we're gonna do groceries first. So I'm just gonna put here. Groceries is getting 80, but I'm gonna put 40 in the wallet and then 40 in, wait a second. I don't have it. Okay, you know what, scratch that. We're gonna just put all 80 in there for now. 60, oh wait, 20, 40. 60, 80, right goes in the grocery, okay, eating out is getting 40, but I'm going to put 20 in there now and 20 in my sinking funds because if I had $40 for the first week for eating out, it would all be gone in the first week, so I have to split it up for myself to like keep myself accountable. So let's put that in the food. Okay. 
Next, we're going to do shopping, which gets $20. Probably should have put this in the order I was going to do it, but it's fine. Um, shopping is getting $20. I will link and I will also link these these are in my Amazon storefront under cash stuffing essentials I think but they were like a pack of 12 for maybe like $10 I think and I really really like them um, and then personal is getting 15 so I think I'm gonna use a 10 and a 5 for this one I'm really sad that the bank gave me like these flimsy bills but you know it's fine Okay, so I'm going to set these aside, and I will put these in my wallet after the video is over, of course. Okay, now let's do my sinking funds. We have, I have a lot of sinking funds. I added a lot more since my last video. And I'm going to go ahead and put these back. Um, so I just don't get confused. Okay, so... This is going to be kind of annoying because these are not in order of how they are in here, I don't think. So, my bad about that. But we're going to do vacation first. Vacation is getting $25. I am going to Disney World for Thanksgiving, so I really need to bump up this right here, okay? I think I added some more money to this recently, but I can't remember. Anyway, let's do $25. That is not right. Behind. Here we go. Um, and where's my... So, let's count it. We got 20, 40, 55, 56, 57 dollars. Okay. This will... We're going to bump this up. I will probably end up adding some more of this. Because I'm probably going to go to the bank right before I go to Disney and just deposit this money. And then I'll have to start it again for when I go to Utah. But, you know, it's fine. So, what was that? I just forgot how much that was. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot how much money I put in here. 20, 40, 55, 57. Okay. I thought it was 57, but I didn't want to be wrong and write the wrong number. Okay. I added a graduation... Um, sinking fund because I totally forgot about that. Like, totally forgot about graduation. So, oh my gosh, it's all the way in the back. What the world? Okay, here we go. Graduation is getting 10 because I'm starting to save up for, like, my graduation outfit. I'm going to have a graduation party and all that stuff. So, I want to start saving now. As we get closer to graduation, this will probably get more money. But right now... I'm really focusing on my vacation and Christmas. So, speaking of Christmas, let's go to the gifts. And gifts is getting 25. Oh, I did not write that 10 was in here. Oops. Okay, gifts. Gifts has a lot of money right now. Okay, so 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so now it's going to have 50. 20. Is this my last one? Okay, that's good. 20. Five. Let's just do a five. So now we have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I really need to start getting on my Christmas shopping. I am kind of behind, but I will be out of town like the week right before Christmas. So I'm probably going to start ordering probably during finals week, which is like the first week of um, December. So yeah, 50. And Michael is getting $10. Where is he? I really need to put this in a better organization. Okay, Michael is getting $10. So now he has 30. I will, oh my gosh, look at this bill. Okay, we're back. So Michael has $30 now. I'm really mad that they gave me this freaking tore up bill. But you know, it's fine. It is fine. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, Michael is my boyfriend. Um, and I'm probably just going to end up using this for his Christmas gift because if that is... Okay, well, we're just going to leave. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I really just knocked the camera. I 
really hope it's like fine. Um, $30. Medical is getting $10, which I don't think anything was in there. Where is medical? Did I write, make a medical one? I thought I did. Graduation, hobbies, dating challenge. Okay, I don't have a medical thing. So right now we're just gonna put it all in car maintenance because I really don't feel like um, dishing it out right now on camera. So we're just gonna put all of it in here, okay? So medical is getting 10, so this, I'm just gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna have to just make an envelope after this video, honestly. Um, so medical is gonna have $10. I'm really just putting this aside for like prescriptions and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then car maintenance is getting 15. I have to get my tires rotated this weekend for my Disney trip because we're taking my car there. So this is where this money is probably gonna go. Um, so now we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. $27 in car maintenance. And then my birthday is getting zero right now. And then hobbies slash Amazon. I'm really just using this so I'm not spending so much money on Amazon with my debit card. Um, so I actually got a $40 Amazon gift card from Ibotta. And I will leave my Ibotta code as well. That one is a little different from Fetch as you have to buy items on the app that you can get cash back for. But I did get it, did end up getting a $4 gift card from it. So I will put that on the screen as well. Um, but I'm using that $40 Amazon gift card to buy things for my upcoming Disney trip. And anything else that I want to buy for myself, I'm just using that gift card right now. So I'm not using... My debit card if that makes sense um but yeah now that is everything i really need to make a medical thing which you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and make it right now while i'm on camera because you know what i mean if i wait till after it's not gonna happen so i got a 16 pack of these off of amazon which i will link in my amazon storefront as well but let me just write this out. It's fine. Okay, now let's put my $10 in. And I'm gonna just set this to the side because it does take a minute to put this in the binder, but now we have $10 in my medical. Okay. All right, everyone, this video was very, very chaotic because I am kind of in a rush because I'm going to dinner with my boyfriend and I need to finish a project for class. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more cash stuffing videos. I think this is going to become a bi-weekly thing on my channel because these do really help me stay accountable when it comes to my savings goals and things that I'm saving up for. Keeping on track of my finances. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.